Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. It's my pleasure to explain to you the training course about ISO 17 or 25 2017 edition, which is nowadays very important for all laboratories which were accredited according to 2005 edition and they want now to transfer and prepare their work according to this new edition. This course will be in a series of lectures. Every lecture will not be more than 10 minutes. I will try to make it as simple as possible. If you have any, if you have any question, you can leave it in a comment. If you have any problem in my presentation, I hope you can be valuable for me and tell me about this problem. I will try to solve if it's possible. I hope also I can be valuable for you and give you a value and help you to improve your skills. After this course, inshallah, we will start method development and method validation course and then how to calculate measurement uncertainty and then many courses related to accredited laboratory because this channel is accredited laboratory. But today, before going to explain all sections, all requirements of this document and how to make transition from 2005 edition to 2017 edition, we will start by a short brief about the history of ISO. ISO which is International Organization of Standard. Before the year 1990, it was very difficult to ship customs between different countries because there was no confidence about the validity of these customs for consumers. And if any company want to sell any product to any other country, they have to provide them with a certificate of analysis. But even that, there was no confidence about the accuracy and reliability of results. That's why they found ISO at the year 1990 and first standard issued at the year 1999 which contains some requirements for all laboratories. They have to follow these requirements to ensure that they are content enough to do all analysis according to international guidelines with accurate and reliable results to ensure they are content and they are accepted internationally. And if any company want to sell any product to any other country, they have to provide them with a certificate of analysis from accredited lab. Who is responsible to make, to prepare and publish these standards? ISO Technical Committee on the Conformity Assessment, which is ISO Casco Group. They are responsible to prepare and publish these standards and circulate them for voting to ISO and IEC to approve this standard. IEC, which is International Electrochemical Commission, ISO and IEC, they developed a joint in the field of conformity assessment. Okay, what does it mean conformity assessment? Conformity assessment how to make assessment for laboratory to ensure that they are competent enough to do all analysis with accurate and reliable results. This for laboratory. So this field for laboratories. And this field, this conformity assessment has main forms which are testing, certification and inspection. Testing, determination of one or more parameters which are lab activities. Certification, which is provision by an independent body. Overrated assurance certificate, they will give you certificate that you are able to do all of your analysis according to international guidelines and you meet all requirement of ISO 17 or 25. And then inspection, an inspection will be like internal audit and external audit. Internal audit at least two times per year and external audit will be by accreditation body to give you the certificate and to ensure that you meet the requirement of ISO 17 or 25. What's hierarchy of accreditation? Accreditation started by ILAC, which is International Lab Accreditation Center which is global oversight in TIT for ISO 17 or 25 too. And then under this, you will find 
regional lab accreditation centers like APLAC, Asia Pacific Lab Accreditation Cooperation, EA, European Cooperation for Accreditation, and then IAAC, Inter American Association Cooperation. Under these regional lab accreditation centers, you will find representative accreditation bodies which are international recognized accreditation bodies like ANAP and C National Accreditation Board like A2LA American Association for Lab Accreditation like PJLA Peary Johnson Lab Accreditation like Navy Lab National Voluntary Lab Accreditation Program and then at the end of this series you will find accreditation body customers which are laboratories who are seeking for accreditation they will call accreditation bodies to, to come to the lab and to ensure that they meet the requirement of this document so this document prepared by ISO Technical Committee on the Conformity Assessment, Conformity Assessment Standard Committee, CASCO Group, and then circulated for voting to the national bodies of ISO and IEC. It will be approved by both of them. And then we found that third edition now. Third edition cancelled and replaced the last edition, which was 2005 edition. And now if any lab want to be accepted internationally, he has to transfer and prepare their work according to 2017 edition. And if you didn't take accreditation before, you will start by the new edition, 2017 edition. Structure of this, before that in 2005 edition, it was only management and technical requirement and under each one of them many points but now distributed more in details structure requirement resource requirement process requirement and management system requirement inshallah in the next lectures we will start talking about every point in details next lecture inshallah it will be only about introduction it's not easy because you will find something very important in the introduction you will find in the next lecture. Thank you. See you in the next lecture. Assalamu alaikum wa